Okay. <laughs> this is the Fighting is Magic panel. If you're not meant to be here, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> this is what we're going to show. Um, I guess we'll start with introductions. I'm Jay. I do animation and some of the graphics and some of the programming. And I guess we'll go from me that way, and then we'll introduce the VAs. Um, I'm Rainbow Crash EA. I'm one of the composers for the Fighting is Magic. <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm Elisande. I'm the guy that does those backgrounds and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't get a chair when I said what I did. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leiden. I'm an animator and designer. Hi, I'm Nappy. I'm the lead programmer and animator. Uh, okay, well, I guess um, we'll uh, introduce the VAs as well and who they play. Um, hi, I'm Meredith Sims. I play Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Hello, every pony. I am Kim Lynn Tran, or Hanilmik, and I play Rarity. I'm Rena Chan and I play Mayor Mayor, who's also the game announcer. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess we'll just open up the game and show you some of the new stuff we're working on. Um, we should have a few surprises since the Evo build, um, but we'll let uh, Nappy take over and just show some of the new, th new stuff. Am I in the way too much? Should we explain the basics? How many, of, how many of you guys haven't seen the game? Okay, so there's a few. Probably want to explain the basics. Yeah, a couple of you may have seen... Yeah. A couple of you may have seen our previous uh, streams and stuff. But we've had a couple... We've done a, quite a few things since our last stream, uh, Evo. For those of you uh, new to this type of game, Fighting is Magic is, you know, a straight up fighting game. Um, traditional. Yeah, just a traditional fighter. It has uh, really simple rules. We try and make the we try to make the game nice and uh, accessible. Of course, the point of a no, the point of a fighting game is to <laughs> knock out your opponent. <laughs> We're gonna run through the the basics real quick, a little faster than than usual. But in this game, the basic combo is a light, medium, heavy, which is A, B, C, nice and simple. Yeah. You might notice some new hit sparks for those of you who've been watching the stream. Uh, no, it might not be too exciting, but we had a lot of fun making them. <laughs> Woo! Do some more hit sparks. Yeah. In this, also in this game is a lot of really cool air yeah. combos. Um, <laughs> the, the same rule applies when you're in the air, as you just saw. You can make some really cool combos with these simple ABC rules. You'll have to excuse Nappy if he accidentally does like a 20 hit combo when he means to yeah, do a 3 I, or I'm 4. I'm trying to hold myself back. He has back. muscle Keep memory. Keep simple. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's the game. No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone over this so many times. We've gone over this so I many times. Know where to begin. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Right, we we, we, we have got a couple yeah, of surprises so we'll for you just, guys. We'll uh, just introduce the first characters. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Twilight Sparkle, of course, uses magic in all of her attacks. So she can Ouch. shoot projectiles, for Ouch. example. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep going. Yeah. Just, um, show, just show us a massive combo, Neffy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, I said a, I said a massive one. <laughs> um, sorry, he's very nervous, and I'm, I'm playing with him a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just. You want to show launchers, and do you want to show tests? Yeah. Let's go into the tests. Yeah. Let's just go into some new stuff. Yeah, let's just go into. Ah, uh, jeez. I'm sorry. I'm just a little messed up. Let's go, man. All right. This is your baby. I'm, I'm really, I'm really <laughs> locked him up. Here. Yeah. All right. So, as everybody knows, there's launchers into aerials as he just showed, some more stuff, Juggle. yada yada, juggles, your normal <laughs> fighting game stuff. We're trying to keep it casual, but we're also trying to keep it um, interesting for intermediate players. We want to go as far as we can with this in terms of uh, professional competitive type fighting games. So we're trying to make it, you know, as you know, hardcore as we can while also keeping it simple for the new people, hopefully. And we've got the tournament tomorrow, so hopefully that'll be heaps of fun. But uh, we've we've done some stuff since our last um, since our last build that you guys have probably seen. Uh, first of all, everybody knows about Tex, right? Yes, Tekken. Not everybody knows about Tex. No, Tex no, is very important. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen we've um, seen we've seen people you know think that uh, some combos are viable. Do we need to explain combos? Uh, yeah, we we just kind of went over. Combos. Okay, we. Com <laughs> yes. Combos are a, are a series of. Um, are a series of attacks that you pull off in a very fast manner because of the timings that you use them in. There's Gatlings, which is kind of difficult to explain, and there's Links and a bunch of other things. They all fall into combos, but uh, pretty much... It's something where you do something that means the other player doesn't have control while you're damaging them. So as long as they don't have control, it's sort of counted as a combo. It's so they exciting. can't do anything from start to finish. It's hype. Uh, it's fun to watch, hopefully. <laughs> and it's definitely present in this game. But uh, a lot of people don't know about Tex, which is a way to escape combos. Uh, and people think that combos can um, last much longer. But in fact, a lot of people don't know about the teching. So what teching is, is if, uh, if you're being tossed around, per se, blown back, uh, launched, you can recover and block and do other things um, so long as they give you enough space. And eventually, because of the scaling in the game, you have more and more space as a combo gets longer in order to tech. You have more and more time to do this. All right, let's just go over the, the simplicity of how to tech in this game. If you get launched into the air, you simply hold up and you'll flip out of it. Oop. Not really refill your health. Uh. If they cannot continue so the combo... You, you saw Rarity do a little hop in the air there, so yeah. normally she's um, unable to do that, but when you tech, you'll see her sort of jump out of that launch. Yeah, it, it is then down to the opponent to continue their combo before you're able to flip out of that. So they can flip out of that if you just do that and let them do that. But if you launch and go into your combo, they can't tech it. Now, we do have um, certain maximums put in place. Um, there's a maximum of one. Uh, what are the maximums? Oh, well, that's, <laughs> some, that's some more advanced stuff. We've been, with it. We've been tweaking with it. We've been tweaking with it a lot in terms of balance. And we're trying to keep combos short and compact, but also still fun and long enough to be interesting. Yes. But you can also, um, you can also tech on the ground as well by just holding down. So if you get tripped, Oop. you just land on your feet. Oops, I didn't do it that time. There you go. Now, they are placeholder animations. We're, there's a lot of things that are placeholder yeah, in this. Yeah, a lot of things are really uh, jerkity. But we're, we're getting there. The mechanics we're are in there. We're getting things to work before we make them look really, uh, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, another neat thing you can do when you tech on the ground is you can choose a direction to roll. I don't have a trip. Oh. If this you is just, new, if you this just is hold new a since direction. the Evo build as well. Yeah, yeah if you just hold a direction new. after hitting down, you roll in that direction. Uh, you see that. <laughs> uh, well, I gotta, there we go. 
There you go. It's you not can, a roll right now, but there's just a placeholder yeah, animation. Yeah, it's just kind of a so. slide. Yeah. You can, you can also roll behind your opponents. Now, why we did this is because we felt the game was a little bit too, too like, you know, it's sticky. A little too stiff in a certain too sticky. situations. We wanted we wanted the player to have uh, more control in terms of movement, and uh, it's exciting when you move around a lot. Yeah, <laughs> as exciting as it is to do really long combos in fighting games, it it's most most of the fun is left on the player doing the combos. So in this game, we're trying to keep combos nice and short so that both people are still playing the game. And this rolling should help, you know, prevent situations where people can just keep a relentless amount of pressure on their opponent. That, and it should add a little bit of more depth to some of the setups. Yes, because also while you're rolling, while you can't get hit, you can be grabbed. Mm -hmm. Should we reveal one of our first surprises in Applejack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Pellet. Let's, see. let's let's just play through the match and then we'll get to the character selection. Yeah. Screen. Pellet B. Pellet, Pellet B. B. Yeah. 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 Let's go. We 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 we've got a surprise that starts with F <laughs> and ends with Y. But um. I don't use the pad, so we I'm might, gonna we might we might see up. that one later. Kim, what are you doing? <laughs> Infuse some power. <laughs> I'm just being very polite. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> very nice. Come here, you. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's something new, actually. Uh, we've changed Rarity's super so that it's a little bit less brain dead. It doesn't take up the whole screen. Right. So you'll see there that it, it, was, it was supposed to be a super. Now, the, the old super, if you remember the gem storm, was full screen gems coming up from the ground. Um, now we've changed that to... So, you had, yeah, ones that miss. It's we felt that I was more fair. It's amazing I can still do anything on this. So yeah, you can choose uh, three pillars, right? Three pillars on the screen. So you've got to think a bit more now. Her gemstorm is still there, um, as her level two, level two, I believe. Oh, nice cross up. <laughs> so the hit sparks are the latest and sort of just an effect sort of stuff we do. Um, we try to not focus on effects too much because obviously we need to still animate characters and all that sort of thing. I love doing the effects, so when I get bored, um, I might throw something together. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you want to go with some changes for Applejack? I can't, I can't get the cake now. Okay, guys, um, you might have noticed our first big, big reveal is that Applejack Granny Smith has a new hat. Yep. <laughs> it took us three months to do this. No. Yeah, we're sorry we've been a AWOL for so long, but yeah, it was picking the right color. Very proud of it this hat. It used to be blue. Another... <laughs> <laughs> Another aspect of our fighting system is the magic system. You may notice that at the corners of the screen are little gems with uh, colored bars within them. Uh, this allows uh, each character to use a, a super special abil uh, ability a uh, limited amount of times. For Applejack, uh, well, for Applejack, every time she lands her rope, she fills up a meter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> of course, she has to land it. And as she fills up that meter, she can use that to do like really super special things. So this is the little gem on the right for Applejack. It's got one pip in it now at the top. 
Yeah, we're still working on the exact graphics for it, but yeah. Uh, Applejack's you know, main game is to get in really close, and that's a little difficult with all the projectiles and gummies walking around. Uh, when she fills up her meter, she unlocks an ability to uh, super dash across the screen. She can also use this to get behind opponents at any time. <laughs> <laughs> This can also be used in combos. So as you fill up that meter, you get more and more potent abilities, such as the Super Apple Buck. As you see, she rebounds like way off the wall. She doesn't look too sad about it, though, to be, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, Pinky's just having fun. If you fill up her meter all the way, <laughs> you fill up her meter all the way, she can counter attacks of any kind. So just like do a jump in medium, I guess. Sure. Oops. <laughs> oh, you need you need more, you need more yeah. meter. Get your meter I back. Need more power. <laughs> I need, need. How did you fill up my meter? Yeah, where's your cheat code? I I I unbound I unbound it. All right, good. Okay. All right, do it again. So as you can see, even even when you when you know it's coming, um, it can be hard to time it. So it's not a you can, it's not a free counter. As you just saw, uh, Pink, uh, Pinky has a really powerful level three that turns her into Pink Amina. <laughs> she just wants a hug. She just wants a hug. <laughs> I think making the uh, the hugged frames for all the ponies was one of the funnest days we've had, actually. Oh, for sure. We tried to get some really cute little faces in there. It's quite adorable. But yeah. Um, Wait until you see. Oh, I I've said too I much. Pretty much it. Uh, everybody. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much all the basics. Everybody's got magic. Uh, Pinky's got a cannon that she can fire six times during a fight. She can also. Now is that during a round, like a that's match, broken. or during a full yeah, fight? Yeah, got filled up. I see. Okay. Anyway, lead. What's up? Is the cannon? Uh, does it ref when does it refill? During a match or during a round? It refills between rounds. So every win. Yeah, every or loss. Well, every win or loss, yeah. it refills to six per round. Oh yeah, she'll always Draw. win. She'll that always win. You're yeah. right. She'll always win. Also included in the canon are edible objects, such as that cupcake that refills her super meter. Yeah, so just like real life, the cupcake gives you hype, energy. Yep. And I think, what is it, a quince? Yeah, we have a, we have a, 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 we have a quince. A quince? A, a quince? <laughs> we have a quince. <laughs> it's like a pear. Just yeah. call it a yeah, pear, it's fine. It's a weird pear. And it refills the health. Um, you want to go cover short hops on our earth ponies? Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> another, uh, another special characteristic between the, the ponies is we paid attention to what kind of pony they are. So if they're a unicorn, they usually build super meter really quickly. If they're an earth pony, they can do short hops, which allows so them to get problem. in closer a lot faster. <laughs> and of course, they have good ground speed, as you can see. Yeah, we have so much fun making the animations. It's just been so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm out of cannon fire. Oh, yeah. Just cheat. Hmm? Yeah, just cheat. Yeah, now you have cannons. Oh, sweet. Mmm, <laughs> cupcake. So that's what the present does. All right, so, but yeah, Jay. Huh? That that was just two. That ball? was just two types of ponies, though. There's a third type that a lot of you are familiar with, the Pegasus. Yes. All right. Yeah, it is. You've correctly guessed it as sea ponies. <laughs> No, no, no. 
I just have splash. <laughs> well, I, I, said there, I said there was a surprise starting with F and ending with Y, so let's um. <laughs> let's reveal it. Just go for it, huh? Yeah, been chosen. It's, it's not? Yeah, we go for it. Heavy. Yeah, heavy attack. Yeah, heavy, heavy, attack heavy attack. Yeah. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. That's right. It's Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yes, we have a Rainbow Dash. She will be playable for the tournament. Yep. Uh, she's not complete, so uh, caveat emptor, buyer beware if you choose Rainbow Dash, but she's Pretty awesome. She's pretty, pretty darn cool. there. She doesn't have any supers, but if you want to take the risk in the tournament, feel free. She's got supers, they're just not in yet. <laughs> yep. Probably. Why don't you show, uh, show some stuff? <laughs> but yeah, I, as you may know, Pegasi have wings, or Pegasus. Pegasus ponies have wings, and they will use them for flight. <laughs> Rainbow Dash's uh, magic ability is, of course, dashing. She can dash in any direction she wants, as long as she has Mira. Yeah, she can eight. use this to extend combos in really insane ways. Yeah, eight-way dash in the air on the ground. She gets two of these uh, in a combo, I guess you could say, until her meter resets on the bottom, which she needs to land a little bit to refresh her meter. It's nuts. That, that animation's finished, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see she doesn't have a walk animation yet. Um, she's got her standing idol. Uh, oddly enough, the crouch idol, which we showed many moons ago, yeah. we don't have in, so we'll, we'll sort that out. Um, but yeah, she's ready for action. Do you want to have a look at another palette, maybe? Just, just have a look. Sure. Right. Who? <laughs> What is your B button? B is two. Yeah, just two. What, Fluttershy? Oh, Rainbow Dash versus Fluttershy? Oh, that would be terrible. I have a G3 Rainbow Dash power. Yes, we got to have Daring do. No hats, no hats. Did you explain how the, how the meter charges the magic? Oh. It got knocked off. No, but I, I have a feeling we don't really need to go over that. We'll just, we'll just go for a match and show you how uh, Rainbow Dash plays in general. Her role is super cute as well. So you can see she's a real pain in the butt, um, just like she should be. Got to go fast. What was that? What was that? <laughs> That's me to have. There's still heaven. some kinks in the engine. So Rainbow Dash's ground game is not strong, um, but as soon as you get the opponent into the air, you can do some serious damage. Yeah, Rainbow Dash is the ruler of the skies here. All aerial stuff. You don't have a lot of damage on the floor, but you have a lot of ways to put people into the air. Her lightning cloud, for example, if they're on the floor, launches you, and you can use it from any height up to the maximum. Yeah, the animation of the lightning cloud's got to change a little bit for this stage. It's hard to see, and apologies for that. But if, it's, if it hits them on the ground, they get launched. And if it hits them in the air, it um, does it. Is it a spike or a ground bounce? Uh, it's, it spikes them into the ground, and they bounce 
uh, from the ground. Uncontrollably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They won't be able to tech from from a spike from the first spike. That's one of the maximums. We had a few more ideas for specials for Rainbow Dash, but we haven't implemented a lot of them yet. Uh, well, many of them, um, because she plays so well right now. Yeah, so uh, the Dash was so powerful. Um, she feels really fun already. Um, <laughs> there's not a lot of buttons to press for Rainbow Dash, but technically, yeah, you've got to know what you're doing. So it should be fun. High execution. For sure. All right. You want to uh, show some fun? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Unfortunately, um, we, we don't have Fluttershy playable. But, but why, would, why would we? Why would we? Why would we? Because... You want to explain? Oh, okay, no, she's good. <laughs> um, we've been working on Fluttershy, uh, working on Rainbow Dash at the same time. We thought it'd be better to sort of push one out for CLG for you guys, and it would be way more fun if you guys have a full playable character than two non-playable. So, but we can show you some of the behind-the-scenes Files that we use for Fluttershy, maybe a bit of a glimpse at some of the animations. All right. I don't, I don't think they want to see actually. No. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, do you want to just jiggle your thing a bit? We've got. Whoa. That is pretty. Whoa, dude, dude. <laughs> just just unplug it and plug it back in. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, is that why? So we have an ancient laptop up here. It runs on potato batteries. But the game runs fine. The game runs just fine on Yeah, it, so. apparently. How about that? So we'll show you a bit of the animations, and I think then we'll just, we want to open up questions, because we really want to hear from you guys and answer some questions, but not about roster. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we, yeah, we, we definitely can't answer those, I'm sorry. <laughs> you good? Should be good to go. Tiki people. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh god! Oh crap! Oh. Auto set up! Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's plugged in. I just have to. Have it's to not, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> there, we're good. I think, I think we're good, yeah. Stop running, auto set up. Just, um. Do you want to do, do this lead or Nappy, do you want to go through? Lee, do you want to take over the I'll PC? I'll just go through it and explain. Sure. Just sure. whatever you want. Although I can't see you. Yeah, so I'm trying to do it. I see. What? <laughs> All right. Stop it. OK. So as you may have guessed by this point, Angel is baked into Fluttershy in terms of playability. Angel is using Fluttershy's heavy attacks because Fluttershy is not normally a fighter. So he's going to be handling all that stuff, and he's going to be he's going to be part of her sprite, 24/7. So this it's is this is the sprites before they get into the game. They're a lot higher quality, and you can zoom in on them and all sorts of things. <coughs> but you guys never get them. Sorry, it's only for us. Oh, ah. he's blue, and Fluttershy is a stripe in here because of the palette process. Palette process. So what happens is from from these files, we we export them into this, a, a horrible machine of hate. <laughs> <laughs> and machine of progress, I mean, uh, <laughs> through the, gear, the gears of hate are working in there. Um, and progress. it's very hard to bring stuff into the game uh, in what's called 8-bit graphics. These are not 8-bit graphics, these are nice smooth graphics. 8-bit graphics means you've got limited colors. So what we have to do is, because Angel is white normally, and Fluttershy's eyes are white, um, if we ever wanted to palette swap Angel so he was a different color, it would ruin her eyes. You know, If we wanted to make him brown, her eyes would go brown as well. Um, so what we do is we make him blue, which is a color that Fluttershy doesn't have. Um, so when we bring him in, we can completely independently change his color, change his color without messing up anything else. That's right. We actually sep we separate them before we export them and, and join them together in another horrific nightmare. <laughs> <of> <laughs> and that's development. That's also why the stripes there in her hair, so we could have you know the 
gothic shy from the show, yada yada. Yeah, that's right. This was our first attempt at, at false coloring in the sprites, so we can. Um, so the the, pl- the player one palette will just have that purple stripe as as pink, so it will be invisible. Yeah, it'll look like normal Fluttershy. Mm, but it lets us do cool stripes. If you've been to our site, you'll see a huge palette post we did recently with all the a lot of the ideas we had anyway. Okay, so you can go ahead and cycle through. These are that, these are these are Fluttershy's jumps. It's a really good one, that one. That jumps one. and aerials. I I spent the last two months animating most of these. So. <laughs> She, can, she can flutter. Angel's pretty she belligerent. She flutters a bit. <laughs> Is that an alpha wing I see in there? <laughs> you can freeze on the frame where, it's, where the blur, angel blur. You can freeze on that frame. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we like that one. So when, when we animate things moving really fast, we have to stretch we're, them out. So We're trying to make angel really funny. We think... We like that for some reason. <laughs> so if you want to play that in full, that's good, unless you don't, it's up to you. So that might be what an air combo that's some might air look combo like on stuff, Fluttershy. Yeah. Now what is missing from Fluttershy uh, that you guys can't see yet is um, her other friends that she brings in. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be part of her base gameplay. So she's not expected to do all the work herself. Neither is Angel. Um, she she's going to have some, some bros come in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she is the beast master. Is that energy you want to open? It's up to you. You could open up the hits. The hits are really cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's super cute. We've got some attacks here for Angel. He's he's really zippity, kind of kind of rubber, a little bit, so, so that you could you guys can see what he's doing normally. Else, it, else he'd be kind of invisible. So we have to stretch him and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? A surprise for Nap. Sorry, there's a surprise for Nap. Wait, I built this for you and um. Clis- yeah, you might want to get the mic. <laughs> it, it, it's not a bomb, but it is a trap. Um, <laughs> actually, um, everyone really appreciates the work you've been putting in this game, and I know personally how much work you've been putting in this game. Um, so I kind of built this for you. Really, I modded it for you, but um, here you go. And you have to open it, of course. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's a smaller box. It's a smaller box. Oh my god. You gotta hold that up. Hold that up. Hold hold that up. Hold this. All the way. You are the man. You are the man. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, he's having a good day. Yeah, we're serious, man. We're serious. <laughs> Seriously, uh, Nappy works 19 hours a day on this thing in this engine that is... He does three times as much work as we uh, do. amazing. He's working <laughs> until about 10 minutes before we came on, importing stuff for Rainbow Dash, making sure his stuff works. So He's... Wow. Yeah, he's pretty much... He's 98% of all of the engine work, so... <laughs> Look, I think we should have some questions, I, huh? I, I'm just um, chill, and, But no answers. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, before we get started, I... Wow. <laughs> before we get started, what? Over here. Oh, left. Hi. Hey. I, I, I just wanted to ask a question real quick before I go out into the audience and stuff. Um, sure. It's a bit of a two-parter. Um, you guys are doing like a story-based thing, right? Yeah, we are. And will there be a, like a big annoying final boss that's unplayable? That's what we're uh, we're still in the process we're of making the single player mode. Like yeah, we're still we're still working on it. Um, there I, there is a chance that we will be releasing multiplayer quickly without the story mode. Yeah, it's simply because of all the the hurdles we've had to go over through development. Um, it's, 
we shouldn't have taken this long, but if if only you knew what it took <laughs> what to it get t- this far. Um, well, I mean, we can't, we can't, we can't diss it too much. I mean, if it wasn't yeah. for the engine, we wouldn't have anything. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't have started. Um, we've true. been spending a year doing this. It's in our, in our free time. So, yeah, uh, yeah we're, we're really proud of it. But story mode would, of course, come later. I mean, we, we just want to get... We probably want to get we, multiplayer we out game, really fast. Yeah, get the right. game into your hands as quickly as possible and get the story mode to be as uh, as amazing as possible for, for those who, you know, maybe aren't as into fighting games but like to would like to play a fun little story. Yeah, we want to have know, all offline. our attention on it at one point in time. So okay, we want we'll this grab to be a complete question, package. A complete package. Yeah, we want a complete package, but, you know, we'll release what we can when we can. Uh, guy with the yellow glove. Okay, it uh, it doesn't really bother me, but I was wondering if you had any justification for why the unicorn and earth ponies can walk on the clouds. Magic? <laughs> Magic! <laughs> yeah, it's a they spell. They use the levitation spell or yeah. something, you know? The, f- the cloud walking spell, man. <laughs> cloud walking spell. Everybody knows no, that. No, we, we have none. We have no justification. We, we, no we don't have a ju- uh, It just is. It's cool. Doctor Who's shit. Do you, have you guys decided at all um, who the other slots are for, or any possible? Future that has been characters? decided. Oh yeah, that was that was probably the first or second thing we did when we uh, began development. Before we realized how long it would yeah. take and how big a job it was. <laughs> I, I mean, everyone's sort of done this in their minds, you know, with a group of friends. Like, oh, it'd be cool if so and so did so and so, etc. In you know, in, a, in whatever game type, and we, we went through all that in development. Then we went, hey, what can we actually do? And then we narrowed it down to you know 17, and we've been working off of that list since. So it, all that stuff's already been set in stone for. I mean, I, as far as I know, no one that I've seen on all the forums and things has got it 100% right. But I yeah, mean, there's some the obvious ones right that yet. you know, got so pretty close. Kind of got exciting. Exciting. close. That we're gonna surprise at least you know at least some people. Yeah. Any spoilers? No, not not right now. We don't like spoilers. The the spoilers <laughs> wouldn't be interesting unless it's the characters we really want to keep secret. So you know. Yeah. Um, we'll go left. I think. Uh, EQD University. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but is there? Can Can you explain anything more about the leak that happened with the game? Yeah, I I can talk about it if you want. It's 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 not much to talk about. Um, at some point, someone got a hold of it. Uh, probably through one of our testers. Probably wasn't one of our testers, but it was probably someone they knew. That's about it. Um, it got out. We cried <laughs> a lot. A lot. Um, there were tears. Yeah, but we we kind of glad people got to play it. But we we kind of wanted to control that experience and give it to them properly. That's all it yeah, was. Yeah, I even joined in on some of the the rooms and played with some of the people. Yeah. And you know, just made sure they were having fun at least. But you know, it's an un- it was unfinished. It was embarrassing, but it happened. So well, well, you know, it wasn't a hundred percent negative. There yeah, were some yeah, positive things. Yeah, it wasn't things. all negative, but there were some positive things. Yeah. Okay. Um, gray shit, twilight shit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, when the game does come out, are you planning on doing delta updates, or how how are the updates going to be handled in a in a way that is usable. Ah. <laughs> yes, we're going to have semi-regular DLC character packages. I mean, that's the only way to really do it. Uh, we, we, we haven't really sorted out a distribution platform or anything yeah, yet. It's just we'll make we'll it we'll worry about it something that will be easy and accessible. You know, we won't have like a hundred different versions on our page where you have to try and figure out all that stuff. But we're hoping for something uh, a little yeah. more automatic and compact. The yeah. way the... Um, the way the game works is, is it basically an EXE and then a bunch of files that it reads off that have all the characters and the, the stages in them. So in theory, we could just give you replacement files of those and you could just jump them in, dire- dump them in the directory and it would work. So, um, Let's go on the left. Red shirt, black hat, rainbow dash cap. <laughs> we would we would love to. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a bunch of fun stuff later, but uh, right now most of that is placeholders because yeah. we're trying to get the gameplay first. But in terms of but tag it, team, it, we cannot. In, in terms of tag team at all, like yeah, that, that's I mean, a, that's a t- an entirely different type of game. Uh, we're not. I mean, this this is a one on one type of fighter, so 
we we can't really. Yeah, the engine it, it, as, the as engine fun as it would have been, uh, we as can't really uh, go into that. Yeah, we we would have loved it, but. Yeah, well you, you can't really have both. It's either a tag team game or it's a single. That fight. and the FM engine, um, <laughs> if we were to make a tag team game, it would have taken us at least eight times as much time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually yeah. almost did make it a tag game, to be honest. Uh, it started out as a sort of MVC style game, but uh, the engine limitations, thankfully, reeled us back. Yeah. It, that would have been a disaster, honestly. Mm -hmm. because balancing is hard enough on one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. I can see a red sleeve over this side. <laughs> yes. By show of hands, who's playing Rainbow Dash in the tournament tomorrow? <laughs> oh. Second part for the devs, will there be regulation on character selection for the tournament tomorrow? As far as I know, I, I don't no. Think no. So, uh, no. <laughs> Anything like you can't select can't be selected. Uh, yeah. oh, we've, we, we've given we Rainbow Dash, I think, four palettes and then an extra couple of, of yeah, placeholder colors. ones that don't look great. Um, so everyone should be able to pick whoever they want. Yeah, uh, that's what we spent most of our time leading up to CLG and, well, leading up to this room uh, doing. Uh, we're making sure that Rainbow Dash is, is tourney viable. So you can select her and you can use her if mm -hmm. you want. We also spent a lot of time... Um, balancing the other characters too, actually. Oh, for sure. For the tournament. Yeah, after Evo build, there's a huge balancing. Uh, yeah, like immediately a patch. Yeah, a whole huge content patch. Mm -hmm. But um, um, none of that yeah. looks very exciting to you guys. Um, yeah, but there's for a us lot it's going sort of on fixing under the things hood. that are broke. Under the hood stuff. Yeah. All right, let's go on the left. Let's go purple shirt. Yes, we'll confirm that one. Oh, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. Yep. It's going to be the core of her, her gameplay. Um, we're still working a lot, of, a lot of stuff out with that, which is why she's not here ready for you guys. Really unique type of character. Takes a lot of um, thought. Okay. Takes a lot of thought, too. Let's do the backest person in this row, which is wearing a khaki cap. That's you. Stand up. You got it. <laughs> All right, so uh, Rainbow Dash looks awesome so far. And she is like, awesome. It looks like she's got some sort of Magneto-esque swag combos. Uh, yep. Yep. You would be is right. Is there any plans on maybe like go like upping the execution with some like fly on fly combos maybe to give her even more deadly power in the air? She actually has and had several of those. Um, half of them had to be taken out just last night. Actually, they were too strong. They were way too strong. Um, <laughs> yeah, there there are only certain. There are certain limits that we have to put on this game since it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. In the in you know NBC, your characters are your rounds. In this game, you lose your character, you actually lose. So yeah. you, you have to reel her back. <laughs> yeah. So she she's got fly on fly combos, but the the flight mode is it's not limited. It's just we've we've tried to balance it so yeah, it's it, not super ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's all right. It's okay. It's good. We love it. It's decent. <laughs> okay. Right, right at the back, doing the Spock fingers. Maybe not on purpose. I apologize if that's some sort of... <laughs> Jay, horrible person. Um, this is just about the Fluttershy animations. I was wondering if you were considering for some of her fall animations of using the fainting goat, or maybe the bleed too. And the sounds? Yeah, uh, maybe. That was or at least that, that just have her fall over like it. Yeah, we, we've considered that for a few things, actually. Um, our sound guy, Ken, who's not here today, um, he makes a lot of the sounds. Um, I don't think that would be a voice acting. Can you guys try to do a blank, uh, bleeding goat for us just to see if it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. Come on, come on. You, gotta, you can't, let that, can't let it end on that. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> caught it in a, in a grinder. I guarantee I can't do it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. So no, there's no way we're using those. <laughs> <laughs> You're banning too bad. Okay. Um, excuse me. One thing real quick. Um, you guys can also ask the voice actor stuff. Yeah, I'll just ask any of us. Like, uh, we got music, we yeah. got backgrounds, we got Everybody's here. these guys. Those, those voice guys actors. Do we, we don't, yeah. yeah. I'm just kind of here. All right. <laughs> I just Front row. Uh, while that Magneto comment was made, if there is any possible character, any fighting game, 
If there was any possible character we could compare Rainbow Dash to, who would it be? It would be kind of a, I guess, Nova Tal Kaka. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good pick. That's a good pick. That's a good Wait, pick. You, um, these guys, I don't play as much fighting games as these guys. These guys are doing the mechanics and the programming. But um, yeah, they have a huge library of, of characters and moves and feels to draw on. And so we try and incorporate stuff that they really like in each character. So we want, want them all to be awesome in their own right. Um, let's go... You in the front there? Green hat? Creeper hat. I think they might be filled up. I think it yeah. filled up online. Yeah. Yeah, the registration was on our uh, on our main page. It filled up fairly quickly. Yeah, um, we're really sorry about that. I mean, it's it's we can't have a million people entering, so we did have a limit, and we yeah. reached the limit, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Sorry. Yeah. All right, we'll go pink pink sunglasses. Well, pink plus sunglasses. Oh, okay. Swag, Pinkie Pie. Swag. Alright, I have a simple question. Is Fluttershy going to be able to call upon Iron Will? <laughs> Come on. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that sort of ties in a little bit with, uh, with um, Season 2 content. We're, we're trying to stay away from sort of main characters that might be in Season 2. But we, I mean, like, the Pinky, Pinky's got the Pinky Cannon. Um, yeah, the pinky cannon just sort of worked out mechanically. Oh, sorry, with party the, cannon. Oh. Yeah, the, yeah. It, it just happened to work out mechanically with what we had before. She would just throw the objects, but then she had the pinky cannon. Yeah, that was so boring. Like, why not? Yeah, why not so we didn't, we didn't add it cannon? because it was in season two. We added it because it was already something she wanted her to do, which was throw stuff, and the pinky cannon was just too perfect. Yeah. Um, so we're not averse to season two, some of the little things they might do, as long as it doesn't affect the character too much. So you're yeah. not going to see a, um, a daring, uh, not, not daring do, or you're not going to see like a, what do you call it, nightmare, what's her face? Well. Can't remember. Mary well. <laughs> you're not going to see a Mary well character or anything like that. Um, but they may make a cameo in the background or something like that. Yeah, I mean, in terms of characters, we don't want to backtrack. So in term, like for the designs, uh, we will fill in places that where stuff can fit from season two that doesn't cause any sort of backtrack. Yeah, you want to actually finish this game at some point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we'll go front row here. Uh, I mean, I plan on playing the game, not at the tournament, because I would get <laughs> smashed, but I can't wait to play the game, so. Yes. <laughs> My first love before I became a brony was fighting games, so absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Um, we'll go right over there. So the mic person has to walk for ages with the fedora hat. <laughs> oh, there's two fedora hats. Oh no! Right now. Fedoras everywhere. Fight. Fight it out. Uh, Whoever didn't download the leak of the two. No. I don't mind. I don't mind. Who's your favorite pony to play? Uh oh. We knew this would happen. We dreaded it. Nappy. Oh, Twilight. wait, favorite pony to play? Twilight Sparkle's just, you know, the best at everything, so... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's, she's not the best at flying. Oh! She has a spell for that. Oh, Response. <laughs> she has several spells for that. She can teleport, to be fair, which is pretty badass. It's true. Um, my favorite's Rarity. I like zoners. What can I say? Workman, I see. I reckon I'm gonna have to go with Applejack. Um, I think I like playing as Pinky the most. Rainbow Crash, Rainbow Crash. Oh. And you guys haven't played it yet, so. <laughs> and I like Rainbow Dash. Wow. Yeah, well, um, we it, it kind of nice. worked out. Uh, uh, Nappy was the main animator on Twilight, and it's sort of when you when you like the character, it's very easy to get in the motivation and, and just start just start doing stuff. You start animating. You want to see them do stuff. Um, Leiden loves Rarity, so he animated most of her. 
Um, I'm down with Rainbow Dash. So I was really excited to start working on her and, and get her out there. Yeah. And um, no one loves the other characters, so we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all love the other characters. Yeah. Bottom of our hearts. All right. Uh, who was that side? Um, that was excuse the, me, guys. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we have to wrap this up. Oh. The next panel has got to start soon. Oh, really no sorry. problem. Okay. Hey, thanks for coming out, guys. That was awesome. Definitely. Yeah, so. We love you guys. We love you. Oh, and I think oh, we, got uh, a demo, we got the demo going, right? Oh, yeah, I don't think we got yeah. it yet. Yeah, we're um, going to have a demo going in the gaming room, so you can come and play. Um, we're going to try to get some move lists printed. Yeah. We don't know when, though. Good luck Sometimes. in the tournament. Just look out for us. We'll have the game up. 